Hey everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Photoshop tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create your own custom brushes in Photoshop using some of the default brushes. So before we start, it'll help if you go to Window Workspace and work in the Painting Workspace if you want. This is just going to give you all of your brush tools right on the sideline more easily for you to switch between. Now I'm using a Wacom tablet and that's going to give me pen pressure sensitivity. However, that's not necessary to create cool or custom brushes. It's just going to allow me to show you guys some cool uses. So the first thing I want to do is get off of this background layer. So I want to go to layer, new layer. And now I can start creating my custom brushes without having all that white. So the technique I'm going to show you guys in this is using some of the default circle brushes to make your own. So if I click my brush tool and I turn down the size to a small size and 100% hardness, and working with black as the foreground color, I just make one dot on the screen here. I'll press Command J to duplicate that dot and then I'll drag it down so that it's in a perfect line with the first dot with a little bit of separation. And then I'll do that two more times. So I'll have four dots in a row and then I'll click all of those new layers that I made, hold Shift and then press Command E or right click and merge the layers together. So now I have all my dots on one layer. Now to select only the contents of this layer, so the dots, I want to hold command on the keyboard and click on the layer thumbnail. Now you can see the marching ants, which means that it's selected all the contents of this layer. Now to define the custom brush, you can go to edit, define brush preset. And here it'll let you name your brush and press OK. Now when you go back to your brush tool, you should see it as the last brush in your current brush preset. So let me show you guys what this brush looks like when I start to paint with it. So you can see it's got a pretty cool wavy effect and you can also see how we just used the basic circle brush and combined it a couple times to create a cool custom brush of our own. But that's just the default brush. You can actually get even more control out of this by opening up your brushes window and that's under window brush if you don't see it. And here you can adjust things like the brush tip shape so I can determine the angle of the brush. I can also determine the spacing, so rather than being a solid line, I can space it out so that it's a bunch of dots this time. That's another cool brush that you can make. Also, you can do things like adjust the scattering and all types of different texture and brush dynamics that are available here. And if you're using a pressure sensitive tablet like I am here, then you can set the control of some of these parameters to be either how hard you press down on the pen the tilt of your pen and things like that. So you can take your same brush and do a lot of different things with it. Now if you don't have a pressure sensitive pen tablet, one thing you can do is actually go to the pen tool and then instead of brushing, draw out the path that you were gonna brush in and then right click and stroke path with your current brush and press simulate pressure. This is gonna act like you started out lightly and then put the pressure down in the middle and then picked it back up evenly. So that's one way to still get a, a fade of pressure even if you don't have a pressure sensitive tablet. But hopefully this tutorial showed you guys how to define a custom brush and some of the different options you have when adjusting it. And you can get creative and use these custom brushes in projects of your own. If you guys did like this video, definitely leave a like on it below and check out some of the other Photoshop tutorials in the playlist on my channel. Definitely subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all new future videos. And once again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.